D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified. And today I'm doing a evaporator or indoor or AHU unit motor swap. Okay. And I'm going to do a quick uh, in depth overview for you pros and um, do it yourselfers if you dare, if you have the balls. If you're kahunas, if you have the kahunas and you want to attempt this, I'll give you some pointers as well. So this particular unit, this is a carrier. There's a tag, information, model, serial, etc. And I've already have the whole motor removed. You can see that's where that's where the motor sits right here right in there so these two these two grooves there's a groove up top right here another groove in the bottom um the, the, the housing just slides right in like that in that direction top groove this little lip right here and this side goes in the bottom groove it slides right in it's just the housing with the motor and everything just slides right in right in there see the grooves Top and bottom. And then this piece goes in front. And uh, it's basically just locks it into place. Okay. Two 516 screws goes in uh, this one. So the tools you're gonna need uh, is a 516 nut driver, a 716 nut driver or a wrench. This particular nut driver here is a multi not driver, so I have everything here. You know, I got my 716, which I use for these. All right, these nuts right here, that's 716. And um, the 516, it's on the other side, which is these screws that holds the uh, the panel. Okay, this is for uh, for you um, DIYs, do it yourselfer. Uh, these screws hold the panel, they are 516, and also holds this little bracket that prevents the motor and housing from sliding out from its groove over there. Okay, so let's get into it. So, the motor I'm using today is the uh, Rescue EZ16. Okay, and this motor is supposed to replace a whole slew of motors um ecm motors to be exact all right so this is what they're saying 2.3 2.0 on uh eon okay and so this is what it is you got the motor and this little module in the box um they're saying that uh, uh adjustable airflow uh, belly band mounting etc this is it okay i picked this up from my local supply house refrigeration supply house all right so in the box you have the motor which has already installed that is manual right here um, this paper shows you how to connect the power and this little thing right here with uh the basic settings for the module which is currently connected as you can see all right, so this is the, the motor from carrier that came out of the unit. The right here is a power plug, and this is this particular unit is 208. How do I know? You can look in the tag, and the voltage is right here 208 volts, 230. All right, so based on this motor, if we're going to use uh, if you have 208 volts for your power supply. You just go right ahead and plug it in because this is the uh, plug configuration. This is supposed to be the power plug, by the way. But um, you know the the OEM one. Where is it? Here it is. It fits perfect. Same same connection. So it fits perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to reuse that. I'm not going to use this. And never mind the color, folks. The color, you know, it's not arbitrary. Um, if you're using this is one for 120 the color is 120 black and uh, black and white but doesn't mean that this motor this new motor right here is 120 
and um like I said, it's dual voltage so don't remind the color also you will note that the, the plug connections on the motor is different see here we got there's a power connection and then we have like a signal or a communication connection down here but here we have the power connection which i think is uh this is the one right here in the bottom the bottom is the power yes it doesn't go in but uh let's turn it around so we have to have the right orientation that's a, that's a power connection right there boom that goes in and out you make sure you make sure when you push it in for your dude your sulfurs it clips right and it's and it's properly secured and i should be able to pull it out you squeeze these two clips right here pull it out okay now again i said i'll be using the old one from because they're the same um connector now you'll note that up top here for the communication it is not the same as this here because the plug that goes in here this is the original motor you can see that it's all charred up uh it goes into the module okay this here is a model that comes along with the items this is this is one of the items that comes into in, with the easy motor there's the box right here this is a module so this wire or this plug originally was plugged into here all right so now that goes into your uh module and then this wire you know came along with the um the easy motor as well and this wire you see as you can see i plugged it in so the module the output and the opposite end will now go into the communication port up top all right and remember these are orientation sensitive so you got to make sure you get the right orientation don't force it you should once you have the right orientation it should go right in easy this is for your, your diys uh, do it yourself first and it goes in easy so that settles that now in the manual apparently this motor or this controller or, or this motor needs 24 volts control and one of these pins i think is the uh i think it's the the, the middle pin here Right, I think, uh, I think it's this one, either this one or this one. If you're reading the model, it'll show you. You know what? Let me just go there real quick. I could find it. Um, so it, it will be it will, it will be missing, and it brings 24 volts into the motor. And if that's not there, uh, pin 16. I think that's where it's at. If that's not there, okay, right here. See. So here it is missing pin so pin number 12 is missing and you'll see it so apparently it looks like this here is a square one and so it'll be this one down here it looks like it you'll see that one um it'll be missing from the plug connection over here and this is where um this um, wire comes in if it's missing in my case it's not missing it's there i think that's the uh, red wire that's a red wire right there it's there but if it is missing you just plug this in into the empty slot on the on the, on the plug connector over here plug this in plug this into the you know the, the, the harness right here you know it's going to be empty slot you push that wire in there of course it's going to be not connected to the module when you're doing that and then you have the opposite hand you will put it on the 24 volts hot all right whether you you want to find 24 volts hot in the unit here you know, i mean you could you could cut off this hand make it easy for you and just put it here on r because r is 24 volts hot all right or you could find a state if you could find a stake and even right here right here it says 24 volts vac just stick it on there okay 24 vlc stick it on there and that's it all right and the next thing you want to note is that if you have a 120 volts unit on the uh plug harness your power supply you're gonna have to put a jumper this jumper right same thing you loop it around right you loop it around it's a jumper and you'll you make it you put it you'll put one in the hand right here and shunt these two terminals um 
here it is same thing you know on the, on the one that came with the ship with the motor you just shunt these two terminals all right and it shows you right here too but you got to be careful if you have uh 230 and you put the shunt in it then you will permanently ruin your motor okay all right so that's that so now i'm done with that now let's move on to where this thing sits before you do it yourself first uh one thing i want to point out um here you have an option for pwm or 24 volts this particular one it says 4w so the toggle switch um if you're not sure if you got pwm or 24 volts start with uh the switch toggle to the uh 24 volt side and 4w is still 24 volts <laughs> all right and then you can change your rotation of the motor and this side this toggle right here you have a clockwise and counterclockwise so you toggle it whatever direction you want um for your do-it-yourselfers the motor has to be turning this way right with the scoop it has to scoop the air all right so if you're a pro you know you know this already if you're a do-it-yourselfer uh the motor has to turn this way that's the right rotation so um you figure out if you install this if you hooked it up you can even have the wires connected while the motor is on the ground here and test it you know uh, you can see how it's turning and um you know correct your toggle right there if it's the wrong rotation then you flip the toggle and get it going the other way of course you have to turn the power off to the unit first um if you're using the pwm option if your unit supports that this unit is not pwm just a regular old board right here with some um di diodes and resistors you know so there's nothing on that 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 you know if you had a pwm um signal it would be lots of logics and stuff on the board here this is just a regular plain old it's 24 volts obviously all right um but if you have a PW, pwm signal you wouldn't have to worry about selecting the rotation uh based on the signal the motor will do that automatically and as far as these dials goes um note the horsepower of the motor which you have purchased and do not exceed that so in this particular case um the motor that i've purchased is a, a half a, um one half horsepower one half horsepower to a third horsepower so i put it at the dial at one half horsepower these i'm gonna leave in the middle normal normal to start up and then see what it is i could play around with it but I'd recommend leave that in the middle. These are the two settings. Midpoint, and it just says normal there. Okay. All right. So you, you, you will gonna need a screwdriver like this. A small screwdriver to get in there to adjust these things. Okay. And you will need an adjustable wrench. If you're, if you're a pro, you should have one of these already. It's a service wrench. And this is gonna be for Accessing this nut right here, this lock nut to, to, to break the wheel free, to break the blower wheel free. You access the lock nut. That's what this service wrench. I use the service wrench over there. It is a square nut, and this is a perfect. This is square. It's perfect. Works beautiful for me. But you can use the adjustable wrench. A small one like this one. It will work just 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 fine but the service tool is uh, it's like a cheat it's a, it's a hack all right um what else uh so if you do it yourself or note the clearance right note the clearances on both sides of them of the uh of the fan you don't want to put this wheel too much to one side you know you want to try to get it even like dead center as much as you can all right that's it you don't want to have it too much to this side or too much to that side you want to have it as, as much as you can in the center okay and remember in this particular case the wheel is going to be turning this way that's the direction of turn okay if it's going this way that way is the wrong rotation it has to be this way uh yeah and then i mean the rest is pretty much straightforward like i said once again if you are a do it your sulfur 
getting up the kahunas you want to do it also what i've done with this motor here uh what i've done with this motor here i've tested it before i added you know secure it into the uh housing and everything i started right there hooked everything up just the way it is right here and um i take this hand plug it into the motor take this power hand right here plug it into the motor i jumped out r and g see that's why i have this jumper right here and um yeah i just tested it it ran before i installed it but um yeah so if you, are, you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe again this is real world real hvac simplified um when it comes to mounting but this thing right here um uh, the mountain you got some holes right here where you can use some screws if you have that they do supply you with uh some 3m uh i guess i don't know what you call this so you can stick it on the back of here peel it off and stick it in the back of here and then stick it somewhere i mean i'm going to be mounting mine with a screw i got a screw i'm going to use a screw right here i'm mounting it right here like so so i'm gonna use this hole right here there's a hole right there and put a screw in that and sit it like this right there okay so that's it there's a go i uh, figure i'll do a quick little video on this if you want to get this motor it is a uh i would say uh affordable motor affordable motor a bit more expensive if you go to the manufacturer so again if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, if you had to subscribe subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis real world real hvac simplified